Well, she's a little loud. We all know that. Hey, why not? You ever seen the nozzle cleaner discover? This is also the hopper. This is it installed on the table or not? It's doing input shaping, I guess. Actually, I guess it's done doing input shaping, so I could probably show it. There's a nozzle cleaner back there, and in the bag it says napkin. Napkin cleaner, or just napkin, I think it says. I guess where it goes, the manual doesn't say. I put this thing on, a lot of fun there. Um, there's a cover right here. You can see it right there is a cover. And then these things, uh, the Z screws have these little covers on them. Yeah, and of course there's a whole new extruder, which is, oh, how nice. Coming out just for us right now. A whole new extruder with some really fun wiring. But there you go, guys. The lock switch is gone. This is the new extruder with the, your typical uh, pressure release switch instead of the lock switch. This helps, of course, with the auto feeding. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And up oh, there it is. There's a good look at the hopper right there. I should be able to maybe flex it a little. Let's see. Yep. Oop, I almost touched it against the bed. That was that, that was risky. Sorry, printer, don't be mad at me, but there you go. Anyway, that's it, guys. And uh, the cable for the CFS is a USB to 485 that plugs into this port right here. I just took it out so I could use the um, AMS. But the actual cable looks like this. This tutorial has been an enormous pain in the ass, but uh, hopefully it's worth it and you guys learn something from it and decide if you want to do this upgrade or not. And if you do do it, hopefully I can help you do it right. There's a few confusing parts. And I worked really hard uh, to get all the details. So uh, oh, if you look at it again, you can see the hopper. It's pretty big. It's this whole component right here. It mounts into this and goes down to there. So quite interesting. This is where the runout sensor used to be. We won't be using that anymore. There's a nice good look at the entire uh, component right there. So once this is done doing the auto bed leveling, it's going to prompt me to set up the nozzle uh, to know exactly where it needs to park on that. So that's going to be fun. We'll see how that goes. I'll catch you guys soon. I have at least a full day of editing after I'm done shooting this stuff.